Hi, I'm Stephen Lee and welcome to Audio Trends TV. Today we've got John from uh, Richter Acoustics uh, with us and he's going to specifically tell us, aren't you John, about the new range of Series 5 Richter speakers. Now as you probably many of you know, Richter has had a long history going back uh, to 1986 uh, and us to 1990, but this new series developed basically over a two, three year period up until uh, the year 2015, I'd say, John, would that be correct? Yeah, correct. Right, <laughs> is been selling very well, but what we wanted John to tell you all is a little bit more about how the speakers came about. So John, over to you. Um, the original design brief for the Series 5 was that we wanted to concentrate mainly on uh, stereo two-channel music as opposed to home theatre. That's not to say that we didn't want them to sound good on home theatre, but we did take a lot of extra care uh, to make sure that they sounded superb on music, yeah. uh, number one. So um, Dr Gosnell, Dr Martin Gosnell and I spent a lot of time talking about this and the type of sound that we were trying to achieve. Uh, and then we spent a lot of time listening and, and achieving that. And uh, Martin is absolutely brilliant and patient. That's what I'd say. Yeah. So, uh, you know, a few of the things that we did to make the Series 5 a little different to anything else that Richter had done uh, was make sure that the cabinet design was uh, what we wanted. So to that end, uh, we, we employed um, Adam Hobbs, an industrial designer, to design the cabinets. And we went through a lot of different uh, phases of that before we got what we wanted. Uh, one of the things that came out of that cabinet design was the uh, front and back plates that go on the box. Uh, it, it, it actually is a completely separate plate. And uh, so it's a double skin cabinet that gives you a, uh, a, a much more uh, less coloured sonic sound, if you like, and uh, you're not hearing the box because it's very inert. Yes. Um, <clears throat> and that was one of the things. Uh, the other thing we wanted to look at the driver uh, arrangement. So uh, Martin, uh, Dr. Gosnell, he, uh, he, he, he tried a lot of different drivers and tweeters before we were happy and our drivers and tweeters are made to our specification. They're totally proprietary. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, you know, and we put a lot of effort into the crossover design, um, more than ever before. So the crossovers have uh, very large components and very expensive components on them. There's one thing, John, I would like to tell our viewers, is that John's had experience in retail and, and the music industry uh, for 40 years, near enough, yeah. okay? Yeah. And so it wasn't just to build another range of loudspeakers, was it? It was to build something that was uniquely Australian, but also delivered performance equal to the best of the imported brands yeah. and yeah. At, at prices which really are, I believe, unbelievable. Well, the, the, all the comments we've had from the Melbourne Hi-Fi show and other shows that we've done and from customers and from retailers uh, and reviewers is that how do we get such a quality sound for the price? And it really is that Richter is, you know, we put a lot of effort into it and, you know, I love my music and it had to satisfy me before anybody else. We had some other pretty talented people that listened and were involved in the voicing of the speakers. And by the way, all the Richter speakers are voiced with using our valve amplifiers. So yeah. that's a powerful combination. You know, it is. They're both together. Um, and uh, I, I think that we've done a really good job. I mean, you know, there was a comment from one reviewer that said, how can they possibly build a speaker like this for that price that sounds so good? And one of the things that Richter's always been known for is value for money and a product that punches above its weight. So when we were designing this range, that was paramount that we continued that Richter tradition. 